Yes, yes. I'm Alex, and thanks for checking out another video. A little while back, I made a video breaking down the grid by Tigran Hamasian. <laughs> really opened up my mind to thinking about different ways that you can group notes within a subdivision. For example, in that track he grouped 16th notes in groups of 5s and 7s to create different phrases. If you want to check out the video, I'll put a link up here. So what we're going to do today is create our own groove inspired by Tigran Hamasian and his drummer Arthur Hanatek. Now, I've been working recently a lot on my quintuplets, so I decided as a starting point we're going to play quintuplets in 4-4. So starting with a nice simple groove, just single stroke roll, up on the hi-hat we're going to play our bass drum on beats one and three, snare drum on two and four, and let's check in one extra bass drum on the third partial of beat three at the bar. Next step, we're just gonna move every other right hand up to the stack. Now we're already playing in quintuplets, which is a five, and we're now gonna be playing the stack every four notes. So this gives the groove a five over four polyrhythmic feel. Let's give it a try. So this is where it's gonna to start to get a bit more challenging and where we're gonna really start to draw some inspiration from the music of Tigran amongst others. So now we're gonna to start to hear that stack we just added in as the start of a new phrase. Another way to think of it is that in one bar of four four, you have 20 quintuplets, so that's four groups of five. But the way we're gonna phrase them is as five groups of four. So what I'm gonna play is I'll start off with our normal quintuplet groove. Then I'm gonna to start to add in that stack every four notes like we practiced before. And then I'm gonna metrically modulate into the new feel where we're grouping our quintuplets as five groups of four. Within that groove, I'm just gonna play a simple bass drum pattern for now. But of course, once you're used to that transition, you're used to that modulation, you could experiment and you could improvise. Let's give it a go so you can hear how it sounds. Cool, so now the next challenge is to start to play with a bit more freedom. So I just wanna get comfortable with improvising inside of each different feel and get used to that modulation. As with the other videos that I've made in this series so far, I've also made a backing track that you can play along with. If you want an extra practice tool, you can download this from my Bandcamp page for a price of your choice. I'll put a link in the video description. This is a hard one, mate, and definitely still a work in progress for me, but let's see how it goes. But that's all I've got for you today, mate. So if you're enjoying the videos, hit that button to join the Wednesday crew, man, and I'll catch you in the next lesson.